Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, I know it's been quite some time since I've uh, posted a video. Um, I apologize for that. Thanks for all you who are have kept with me. Um, just uh, this time of year when it's nice outside, not spending too much time inside doing any painting. Um, busy gardening, doing work on the rebuilding my deck, uh, going cycling with the kids, doing all that sort of stuff, and school's going to be out in a few days for the kids, so uh, that's going to take up a lot more time. And I've also, uh, the family has gone into Taekwondo, and that's been taking up a few hours of time during the week, uh, traveling to the dojan and back. Um, but that has brought a good thing, uh, miniature and Warhammer and gaming related. Uh, gentleman there gave me a schwack of books. A lot of uh, Gaunt's Ghost, Dan Abnett books I'm looking forward to reading. Got uh, The Lost. That's one heck of a book. The Imperial Guard Omnibus. Legends of the Space Marines. Victories of the Space Marines, Gaunt's Honor Guard, Soul Drinker, The Guns of Tenth, Sabat Martyr, Straight Silver, and Ghost Maker. I think that's going to keep me busy reading for probably the next year. Anyhow, and as far as my challenge go went, as far as getting everything, my challenge for myself, getting everything built, um, no, I didn't quite get everything that I had built, but I didn't buy any new minis, which is a good thing because I got far too many. I have a lot of painting. I have got a fair bit of uh, primed stuff done because I did promise that I was going to do a bit of a review on uh, the Vallejo uh, Air Primer and for airbrush, and this video will also be a bit of that on top of my general update. So I have the white grain black. Um, I don't know what uh, everyone else is paying for them, but uh, the game shop that I local game shop uh, special ordered it for me so I'm sure that uh, added a little extra markup onto it but I was 18 bucks a bottle. Pricey for a few ounces but that being said it has gone a lot lot further than uh, aerosol can of uh, GW or Vallejo or Army Painter or anything any airbrush would or any uh, aerosol it's gone a lot further um, I like the adhesion better between the three um, we'll start with the black very not uh, not dead flat which would have been nice but it's eh, not quite satin either it's got a bit of a sheen this is going to show a little more sheen than what it actually has in you know real life but it's a good black primer nice even um, as good as uh, chaos black the gray primer which I've used for the metal my metal minis because it's a pretty light gray here's some an old orc and uh, the primers gray primers pretty light using a gray primer on a plastic like a light gray pr plastic not going to do much you won't be able to tell it's going to be hard to tell you tell where you've primed this is a Dwarf Iron Breaker. Um, I do like the gray on the metal minis. And then, as far as white goes, there's there's the white. Um, word of caution: don't dilute this primer any more than say one part water to 40 parts primer just maybe dilute it just, if you want just a little bit with some distilled water any more than that it loses 
most of its adhesion qualities. Um, did some did some tests with it, and you know I let let it sit and cure for you know up to a week on some, but the scratch test it just came right off on the undiluted or diluted with just a touch of water. Um, the it's not impossible to scratch off but with your fingernail you're not going to take it off that easily so if that's the, that's the case that's good enough in my books um, I mean if you have to put some effort into scratching it off then it's good so far on the metal minis yeah I know game, it's not going to be an issue for long for games workshop but uh, there'll still be metal minis around for a long time um, for the metal as long as you allow it to cure, the adhesion's pretty good. Uh, no better, no worse than any other primer. I still have not found a really good primer for metal that I that I'm satisfied with. Even after a week, this uh, gyrocopter propeller. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it on the edge here. Run, run my finger across. And all the high points, a lot of the primer comes off. Um, I'm going to have to put another coat on. Hopefully, that will solve that problem. For primer for airbrush, Vallejo primers, good value, great adhesion as long as you don't dilute it. And you've got a wide selection of colors. There's even more colors than these three. Um, I think there's also some camo, camouflage colors, some greens and yellow and browns available. Anyways, I'll try and keep you posted with uh, some more vi videos more frequently. I'm not going to make any promises as far as you know, one a week or anything. That probably won't happen until fall again. But uh, I'm still here, haven't fallen off the face of the earth, and you can expect to see more. Thanks for sticking around, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again. Cheers.